Let's take a look to this right here. So right low is this one. So this structure here is, what is this? Diaphragma. That's the diaphragm, perfect. All right, here we have the kidney. And do you guys remember, how do you call the space between the kidney and the liver? Mm -hmm. Do you remember, that's the Anderson pouch, all right? Margin. We'll talk about that one too, all right? So that's the right lobe in here, okay? You see it in here. Now, do you guys remember how do you call this a structure here? No. It's the falciform, falciform ligament, and this one right here, ligament and teres, this one right here. All right, let's just to make it remember a little bit. We're going to go over all of this, okay? The right lobe in here. And then the left lobe is this one here. That's where you usually start your protocol. You start scanning from left to right. Mm -hmm. Now, this one, left lobe of the lever. Now I'm just gonna go a little bit deep and see if you guys remember something about this. If this is the lever right here, look at the echogenicity and the texture of this structure here, of this organ. What do you think is this here? Can I talk? It's the pancreas right here. Okay, we're gonna keep going in caudate load. All right, so remember, when you're doing ultrasound, this is anterior, this is posterior, right? Because the sound is just penetrating from anterior to posterior. Mm -hmm. And because this is a transverse view, this is right and this is left. My question is, how do I know that this is a transverse view? Okay. All right, that's the IBC here. Now, if you go from anterior to posterior, the caudate lobe is a very posterior in location. Does it make sense? In fact, it's anterior to what? It's anterior to the inferior vena cava. Mm -hmm. And posterior to the pora vein. And it's posterior to this structure here that we call the Ligamentum venosum. Oh. It's in between. This is the caudal lobe here. It's this one right here. So what you need to know is like this, very posterior. In fact, this behind, you know, in the posterior face of the lever. So in this picture here, you got the lever upside down. So you're seeing the lever, you know, in the posterior face. And your caudal lobe is this one right here. You guys are good? 100% into this. This picture that we have on the beginning, this one, all right? When you place your transducer right here, just below the esternum, mm -hmm. just point to the right shoulder of the patient. Then in transverse, has to be in transverse plane. Then you're going to you're going to have a picture like this. Like this one here. Oh yeah, we have the transverse here. Okay, you're in transverse. You point to the right shoulder of the patient and you're going to have this picture here. Mm -hmm. All right. So these are the three hepatic veins. The same that you saw before in the other picture. Mm -hmm. Fiance, this is a transverse view, so it makes sense. This will be anterior, posterior, right and left. This will be right, and this will be left. Okay? Now, this one is the middle hepatic vein. And this middle hepatic vein is going to divide the liver into this way, right lobe. 
in this way, left lobe. Does it make sense? This is the right part. This is the left part. Mm -hmm. so don't forget about this. The middle hepatic vein is going to divide the liver into left lobe and right lobe. Now, there's another hepatic vein in here, the right hepatic vein. And this one is going to divide the right lobe of the liver into anterior segment and posterior segment. And they love to ask these hotspots uh, questions in your test where you have to click over one structure. They can ask you, hey, can you click over what you think the posterior segment is? We have to go here, it's the posterior segment. Has to go posterior to the right hepatic vein. And then the anterior segment here. Mm -hmm. Now the left hepatic vein, this one right here, it divides the left lobe of the liver into medial segment and lateral segment. Mm -hmm. So take a look at this picture here and take a look at this one here. Just apply the same thing. It's lateral. Perfect. So take a look at this. The middle hepatic vein is in between the middle segment and the anterior segment. And the anterior segment. That's good to know. Okay, any questions until now? You guys are good? You sure? Okay, so one more time, the right lobe is divided into anterior segment and posterior segment. And the left lobe is divided into medial segment and lateral one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this first lecture is just gonna be so easy. But later, we're going to start gaining intensity and more intensity and more intensity. For now, we're good. 